In this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the corrugated steel plate shear wall in the Abacus software. This model includes corrugated plate, column, beam, and stiffener. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the corrugated steel shear wall, and following that, its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In these pictures, the results obtained from the Abacus software have been compared with the experimental results. In this picture, the tension strip obtained from the Abacus software is in conformity with the experimental sample. In the last picture, the residual deformation obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the results mentioned in the article. In the last picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the results mentioned in the article as well. As you observe, uh, there is a good conformity between the results ob obtained from the Abacus software with experimental results. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Cyclic Tests on Corrugated Steel Plate Shear Walls with Openings in Modularized Constructions. I will click on linear pattern, select the column, done. Here, enter offset equal to uh, 3000 millimeters. And OK. I will click on translate instance, select the column, done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. In the next step, I will enter property module, click on create material. I intend to define the properties of plate. I'll click on general menu, then on density. The density of plate is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. I'll click on mechanical menu, select elasticity and elastic. In this table, the properties of different parts can be observed. The Young modulus of plate is equal to 195 gigapascal. And Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. I will click on Mechanical menu, select Plasticity and Plastic. The Yield stress is equal to 388 megapascal. And the Ultimate stress is equal to 511. Megapascal. Okay. Click on seed part, enter approximate global size equal to twenty five millimeters, and okay. Then I click on mesh part and yes. Here you can observe the first four modes of the buckle. Actually, we will use 
these uh, buckle modes in order to define imperfection in the shear wall. I will click on model menu, then copy model and model one. I'll name this model hysteresis and OK. I will enter step module. Click on step manager, replace. Uh, here select dynamic implicit and continue. The analysis will be done in non-linear form. Here I'll select quasi-static. Time period is equal to 105 seconds. I'll increase maximum number of increment. Enter initial increment size equal to 0 0.01 seconds. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. Here, the horizontal axis is displacement and the vertical axis is force. I will click on Create XY Data. Select ODB Field Output and Continue. First, I'll select unique nodal, then reaction force directed at Z, and then displacement directed at Z. Here, I will select set 6 that is related to the place of cyclic loading. I'll select Combine, then U3, then RF3, and after that, click on Save As. Here, the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall can be observed.
I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here the diagram drawn with a red color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are in conformity with the experimental results, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software. Actually, the diagram obtained from the Abacus software is close to the results mentioned in the article.